Hi everyone, I make Excel and PowerPoint templates to help you get ahead in work and help you get the best out of your job and your career. Today we're going to look at multi-criteria benchmarking where you can compare different features. Uh, so we might have feature four here uh, and it's got a whole bunch of wonderful things in this spreadsheet. It automatically creates the unique ID on the left hand side. We can add ticks and crosses. So we've got ticks here and crosses here. And then once we've uh, input all of that information, it tells us right up the top here which one is uh, currently the best or which one is the winner according to meeting all of those features. It's a wonderful way to really figure out what's the best option for you to proceed with. Let's get into it. We're going to start with our blank sheet and the first thing we're going to do is just do the, the general outline and the general coloring and formatting of our overall worksheet. We might speed this up a little bit as we go through and then we can get into the way the sheet actually works. We're just going to add the headings first of all and let's also add the, the overall heading. Let's just center this nicely, make it a little bit bigger. And we're going to make this uh, the color white but also give us a nice beautiful deep blue for us to work with here and that looks quite nice. Now the same thing we're going to do is to set up our heading row. Make sure we put it in the middle and the, uh, we're going to just say this is our process name and then we've got our process name which we can actually merge, put a nice border around. Uh, here's our, our overall outside border. Now of course we want the same thing for our date updated. So we're just going to copy that across and that way we've got that all set up nicely. Now we'll put this in the same beautiful blue color. Just a nice soothing color for us to work with. All right, it's looking really good. Next thing we want to do is add, uh, we'll add the row for our rank. And this is going to come up later, uh, but we're going to add it in now. We'll give that a little bit of an indentation and turn the text white as always. Maybe just increase it a little bit here. Uh, now these ones, I think the color for this will make a nice, just a gentle turquoise at first. And then to make it stand out, we'll use conditional formatting later on. For our heading row, let's give it a, a deep charcoal, like a nice charcoal gray. And of course, some white text here as well. We'll just increase that ever so slightly. And now it's start a time for us to put in the borders and, uh, and all of the lines around our, our formatting and spreadsheet as well. We're going to make the row height probably around 25. Then we can give this an overall border all around. We might have our notes section ever so slightly just cut off from the rest as well. And we might have our feature section. We'll give that a little right border here. Now the rest of this, we're going to look at our, our more borders styling here. And what we want to do is actually take a nice dotted line, put a, a middle border right in the middle there, and our horizontal borders just in the middle also. So if we add that in, then I think that's going to give us round about what we need. All of these, we really also want them to, to wrap that text around and that way they're not overlapping into other boxes. Now we're, we get to do the same thing here. We'll go to our more borders again. We'll take a nice dotted line and we'll put that in the middle just so that all of these have a nice, nice dotted line for us to, to look at and work with. And then of course, for the rest of our horizontal bars, we will do the same. We'll add that more borders, nice horizontal. And there we go. And now it's starting to take shape. Now we get to add the ticks and the crosses and we're going to use a little trick and we're just going to use a Wingdings 2 as our, as our format. And what that allows us to do is with a capital P, it will give us a tick and with a capital O, it will give us a cross. Now we just need to format these ever so slightly, put them in the center and put them in the middle and maybe increase the size a little bit just so they, so they do stand out. But also we want the ticks to be green, like a nice, a nice green so we know that we're winning. And the, the crosses, we want them to be red so that we know that they're, you know, that we're not matching what we want. So we're going to do that with conditional formatting. We're going to create a new rule and we want only uh, cells that contain the cell value equal to P. And that way we can format 
the font and we can make the color a nice, maybe a nice green, a nice green for us to stand out here, maybe a bit of a, a darker green. And that's going to be quite nice for us. Now if we add another one, a new rule again, only cells that contain the cell value equal to O, and that's our, those are our crosses, then we can give that our deep red, and that way we know that a cross is not what we want. And now we've got enough information to start our ranking, uh, ranking information. And to do that, all we want to do is count up the number of ticks in our row. And for that we say equals, we'll say count, count if, and we open that up. And the range we're looking for is the range of that particular column. And the criteria we're looking for is a P. And we put that in brackets. And if we, and if we uh, press enter there, now we have two ticks and it's counting those two ticks. We'll just increase that, make it a little bit nicer. Obviously turn the text white so it stands out nicely. And we can copy this and we can paste the formulas across to our other columns. Now we can see that we have one clear winner here, but we want that one to stand out. So we're going to select all of these and do conditional formatting again. Manage our rules, we'll add a new rule, and we'll say format only top or bottom ranked values. And we just want the, the top one, just the top number one. And for that top number one, we'll add a little bit of a fill, maybe a nice light yellow, just so that really stands out from the rest of our, of our items. Now the text is still white, so that's not actually going to work. Let's just go back in there and we'll give that maybe the text, we'll give the text a, a deep blue. And that way that's still going to look quite nice. Let's have a look. All right, and there we are. Now we've got our number one, number one rank is really standing out. We can see which one is the clear winner. That's the multi-criteria benchmarking template in Excel, a wonderful tool. I hope you've enjoyed creating this with me. I've really enjoyed spending the time with you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.